Hi, good people of this channel. Welcome to another video. I am pretty excited for this one because I realized watching all the previous videos that I made that I haven't talked about TV shows. Can you imagine? Um, it's so common for all of us like to watch a lot of things online, especially on these streamers. Yep. And with my students as well, a lot of them, we end up talking about TV shows. Everybody is mentioning what they're watching and they're learning English through, through that. And so um, I realized I haven't watched I haven't said what I have been watching and before I think I was watching more especially during COVID now I don't have as much time and also I kind of got bored of this binge watching 10 episodes one after the other um, and also I there's so many I don't know what to choose from I don't get like um, recommendations from from my friends that much now because they're all so busy and so I've been kind of left alone to decide what to watch <laughs> and um in the film school we were watching a lot of films and uh, but that was like seven years ago or eight years ago a lot has changed since then and um that's why I I'm I selected a couple of tv shows that for me that were the most shocking the most different the most raw and um interesting in that way so that's why I selected the ones that I did. I was thinking like what to recommend because there's so many like, you know, small town mysteries, um, a lot of TV shows that came out like that. And I watch it and I'm like, it's okay. Mm, this is like another story um, that I probably already saw something similar of. It's not that um, a lot of the American ones are, are like that um, where you get like a interesting twist in the end. And so you, you watch it because you want to see what happens in the end. But the story itself and the way it has been told is not that unique. So I try to recommend TV shows from different countries because that's one of the things that is different now than before. And you should definitely be happy about it. I am too, because when, when we were starting to watch like content online, everything was based around American TV shows and English TV shows. And now with all of these streamers being, you know, uh, distributed all over the world, I can't wait. I couldn't imagine that I would see like a cool TV show from Korea or from Russia or from Italy or from like Brazil. But now um, you as, as somebody what, from wherever country you are living in, you can watch a TV show in the native language of whatever country you're interested in. And that is so enriching. So it shows you the culture and you can learn so much from that instead of like watching something that is translated or dubbed. Um, I don't think every content should be in English. If the story is originally from a country in Africa, I think it should be definitely told in, in their language and then you, you can use subtitles always. Um, but before all of these like Disney uh, productions, they would pull out a story from a certain country and then they would make it English in a way. So I like the authentic authenticity uh, in a way. So that was something that I was interesting to see. I felt reluctant when I saw that the TV shows is in Spanish or in Italian, um, you know, because I'm so used to watching things in English. But then when I started watching it, it really had its meaning. It had its purpose. So then I got it like, ha, ah, this is really empowering instead of um, something that can be annoying. The first TV show I'm going to mention is Squid Game, only because now they have a Squid Game reality TV show that came out, which I was shocked to see. I didn't know that they were actually going to produce that. Um, you probably all have heard about Squid Game. It was like an international phenomenon. Um, it's a South Korean TV show. I have been following South Korean, cine South Korean cinematography for a while. And I was so happy when The Parasite won the Oscar. Uh, I thought that was a revolutionary movie. It was something that, again, it was very shocking. It is definitely not easy to watch and it is also brutal like squid game but it kind of serves its purpose it it is meant to shock you and to make you think 
So a lot of these new TV shows actually have that element of shock, which I think as a as someone who studied film, I think this is a special message and it, it is supposed to be there. It is definitely not something because, you know, not everyone wants to watch Secret Garden. Not everyone wa- likes Gilmore Girls. And ultimately, if you like to be cozy and entertained, you can select content like that. But um, there are filmmakers who want to push boundaries and that that should always be rewarded because that's how like we move forward in the narrative and we we develop new stories and we talk about new things. I am mostly happy that now um, a lot of the countries have this opportunity because every country has an issue, whether it, it, it can be like racism, oppression, inequality, um, corruption in the government. Um, you know, there, there are many stories from the local community that are now reaching the global level through these TV shows. Uh, you know, the definitely it has to do with like conservation and with um, sustainable living, uh, appropriation of these natural resources all around the world, um, conditions in which people are living in, issues with violence, with gun laws. Um, there's so, so many topics that that are finally being said. And um, it is always interesting to incorporate that topic into a narrative that people would like to watch. And TV shows are perfect for that because you fall in love with the characters, you follow them, and through that, you learn so much about the story. Okay, now back to Squid Game. So when I, first of all, somebody sent a screenshot of this first um, game in Squid Game where the doll is singing, and they told me, like, did you watch this? Like, uh, it's a it's a it's a giant doll that actually kills, <laughs> and I was like, "What is this about?" I I haven't watched Squid Game um, at that point, and so I I took one episode with a grain of salt. I was not very um, I was not thinking that I would watch it until the end. Um, so basically, it's a story about we follow a couple of characters now to go back to the way we in film school are telling the story. So it's a story about, and you can, you should also, um, you can maybe make memos. So how how you're telling a story and what you're mentioning is very important for the audience to understand what you're saying. It's not just like a story of two people falling in love and um, their families are against it and it happens in Italy. It's okay, but um, there should be much more information when you're when you're telling your story. So basically we follow a couple of characters of different ages and genders. And what's common for them is that they all have issues with with money. They owe money to bank or to some people. Uh, They're all in debt in a way. And the only way they can move from that situation is if they get money. And so they get invited to participate in this game. They have no idea what it is. And um, all of them accept it, obviously. And so we follow them together parallelly. And they come to the same location that is unknown. And then there they see that they're not the only ones. So there are like 400 different people with all having same issues and all wanting money desperately. So all of these people are very desperate to to win the prize. And um, it's all okay until we actually find out what the games are and so it becomes brutal very fast it's there is a shocking element and it makes you think I I think almost everyone thinks when they watch that first episode should I watch this further is this something that I want to see but most of them continue watching as I did I just for the sake of experiment and as somebody who who thinks critically about about films and tv shows i was like i have to see what happens until the end so i kind of stayed for the purpose of that and um every game is worse than the one before first they are very physical um you need physical skill and strength and then towards the end they become very very mental so you you need mental strength and um um just the survival instinct and until the end you 
cannot guess who will win. Like everybody has their favorites, but at the same time, you you are not sure. You're expecting a twist. You're expecting that something will happen as it does. So I won't give any spoilers. There is a lot of interesting things that happen. And um, basically, I would have to say it's similar to Parasite in a way that it criticizes the capitalistic, capitalistic society. It criticizes the way uh, we live and we, the way we perceive others. It shows how fragile is human nature and how we are susceptible to, you know, um, sell our loved ones and the ones we we think are important to us for something. How quickly can we change our minds? Um, it's all about that. And also it, it shows you how luck can play into it. So somebody who is lucky that they say that has somebody who has the X factor can advance further. Uh, and somebody who are not some other people who are not lucky, um, they lose. So it shows that the game itself can it can be a metaphor for life like the game of life is very brutal and it's very very uncertain and um you have to accept that as a person so it kind of makes you think definitely and it's also i have to say some of the games are entertaining in a way that they're very creatively made but the way they these games end it's um I don't know, something that I was thinking maybe it's too much. But at the same time, if they left out that part, this show wouldn't have the same message. So I understand why the directors did that in a way. And so the question is like, where do we move from that? I think that TV show has brought um some of the like the the most violent um the most violent scenes to the public and the whole world has seen it. I know students who are 14 have seen it and they liked it. And so what's next? And um, now we have that reality TV show that is not that brutal, but at the same time, it's competition. So some people like it. I don't think it was necessary, but sure. Like if, if there are people who want to participate and win the prize, I guess it serves its purpose. So then then from there i went to exploring some tv shows that are not made um for the american market they're not in english and so i found two that were kind of promising in a way that they would be different than others so the first one is elite um this is a spanish tv show and the other one is baby it's an italian tv show and they're both um high school centered so they're similar to american euphoria euphoria i think was the first one that brought a lot of these like issues that uh, young teenagers are now facing including uh, abuses of all kinds uh, bullying dominance you know homelessness issues with with distorted families with social media with loneliness there is a lot of like loneliness and longing for for to belong somewhere there's a lot of mental illness a lot of instability and so I think euphoria was definitely the first one even though it was not my favorite I didn't liked it the way it was made uh, it was very um, how can I say like it was very romanticized so I, I I understand that if you're showing so many hard topics that you need to you know make it bright in some way so they added a lot of these neon colors a lot of glitter uh, and they romanticize this world of high school uh, kids. But at the same time, the characters are very, very troubled. Um, and um, I can definitely not relate to it because I went to high school almost like 12, 13 years ago. So in that sense, um, my high school was not like that. We didn't have social media at that time. Of course, there was abuse of alcohol and drugs, but it was not in that uh, intensity as it is now we had bullying at the same time but now it's becoming like even it's an intensifying and I definitely think it is important to show something like this and so now going back to elite uh, this is set in Spain like I said so I wanted to see what was their culture like 
And it's a story of rich kids that go to this elite uh, high school. But again, we follow a couple of characters and all of them have issues with something. So even they're rich, uh, a lot of them are left alone. Um, they, um, they have issues with power abuse. They have issues with racism. They have, there's a lot of LGBT characters that are on different spectrums, trans people, um, a, a lot of, you know, contemporary topics are uh, infiltrated there. A lot of drugs, a lot of drug dealing, um, you know, corruption as well. Uh, a lot of new money characters who who became rich very fast. And so there's this diverse set of characters. They're all fighting for their place. And they are trying to kind of socialize and be together. But at the same time, everyone wants something. So it's um it is showing how in these years when we are, you know, too excited, too passionate, and um we want to make something out of ourselves. We have so many big plans, but at the same time, we don't really think about ourselves deeply. Um, everything is happening on the outs. A lot of parties that are followed with like um, polyamory, um, a lot of um, substance abuse, like I said, a lot of, um, but it is all made in a very nice way. You can see like beautiful fashion, beautiful music. It is very much romanticized similar like euphoria and a lot of people would ask like but is it can I relate to like a bunch of yeah, rich kids who who have issues of course like um I'm it's I cannot it's not relatable for me um which is fine I think again this is for the purposes of a tv show being interesting but through that it is um showing because maybe we think that people who have money and who have power uh, have happiness and have everything in life but it is just showing that if they with all that they have they're not happy at all and they can be mentally ill and they they can um, die from you know uh, abusing different substances and they can make wrong choices they're they they also are unable to love or unable to relate with others they feel isolated so if they have that um then it's kind of understandable that everyone also has that so you cannot tell a lot on their faces so uh, uh compared to other tv shows that i watched where this mental state is very much portrayed uh physically these character a lot of these characters are very mysterious they have like a certain attitude and um they are kind of showing one thing on the outside, but then on the inside, they struggle. So you have to really engage and, and try to understand them. So it's a kind of a quiz at the same time. You're trying to discover what these characters, what their issues are. So the next one that comes after Elite that I watched is a TV show called Baby. Uh, this one is similar. It is set in Italy, in Rome, and it is also a TV show about this rich kids culture and private school and um i like this one because i like to the dynamic between these two main characters uh they're best friends two girls who are very very different one is blonde and one is you know dark haired they're very different visually and you know in in style in terms of character but they somehow bond and they become very good friends and so aside from like being set in beautiful Rome. So you can see a lot of these um, nice um, areas and they're dressed very beautifully. Uh, we follow a story of these two girls following into this um, underage prostitution chain. So they, one is, comes from a richer family and the other one, uh, the, the one that is kind of a more of a rebel, she is kind of almost there so um she feels like she doesn't belong to this rich environment in a way and she always feels like uh on the margin like uh like somebody from the outside and so they are influenced by this world of nightlife and um the way these other escort girls behave they meet a lot of like older men 
And for some, this is out of pure curiosity. So some of these girls are bored and they just want to see what it's like. And some of them really want to make money. So the TV show goes very slowly. So you can see them, you know, getting into this world slowly just from in the beginning from just going out and having fun into this being too serious and getting into a direction that it shouldn't go to. And I think this is a story that is kind of typ typical, typically Italian. This TV show is a little less dynamic than Elite. Elite is interesting because you have so many different characters and you can always relate to someone. Somebody can be your, your favorite and you route for them. It's like a competition between characters. Here you only have two. So these two girls and they have boyfriends and their families and their friends, but it is mostly circled around them and the way they um, go through these years. And also it follows the same as in Elite. So it follows them from like a grade one up to graduation. So you see how they navigate this life of getting into or coming of age, getting into adulthood. And what does that actually mean? Because before it meant that you're now an adult, you have all of the things, you know, put together, you know what you will do in life. Um, it, it, it sounds almost like cheesy now that I think about it, because we when when we had 18 or 19, when we were 20, I mean, we were graduates, but did we have all the things figured out? Definitely no. We were so lost. And um, we needed guidance. Maybe if we had these TV shows when we were younger, um, it would be more helpful. But now, um, I think with social media and the internet, you know, being young has gotten like a different weight. It has more weight to it. So uh, you cannot easily escape from environment that you don't like because it follows you everywhere. And the last one I will talk about is probably the one that I was mostly surprised why I watched it because um, just the theme of it I saw some people recommend it but I was not really interested in just like a love story between two people I don't know and just the title normal people was not that intriguing for me um, after everything that I've seen I'm like really I mean I want to see something that is you know more out there I don't want to see something normal uh, but I was wrong. So this TV show uh, is made by, uh, is it's made from a book by Sally Rooney. It's the same title, Normal People. And it follows two people, a girl and a boy from high school in a small town in Ireland. And they're very unlikely to become friends. So they come like from a di two different worlds. And just by looking at them, you won't, you you couldn't realize that they actually have something in common, but uh, essentially they they get together and they become lovers secretly. And so you follow this secret world of two of them who obviously um, have something in common, but it, it is not that, you know, laid out to you. And so you see how they bond and how, and what they look for in each other, how they support each other through high school. And then it goes all the way to the university and when they graduate. So on this journey with them, they get together and break up and they get together and they break up. It's very dynamic, but at the same time, it's very slow. So you have a lot of these scenes where they just look at each other for two minutes and you are kind of drawn into their world. You're trying to discover what they're thinking and what they're going to do next. Um, you're trying to, you know, when they break up, you're trying to figure out why they did that and um, is it better for them to be together? Should it be like that? Because when two people have such an intimate relationship, not only physically, but mentally, it's almost, it feels unfair not, of, you know, for them to split, but then you're trying to find like reasons why they may have not be the best for each other. So it's a lot of back and forth and um, it's really like a psychological dynamic and you really get involved in characters when it comes to intimacy I think these new tv shows um bring that to the next level so you have a lot of the scenes where as you have violence in squid game that's like with intimacy intimate scenes in elite for example you will see a lot of um you know 
sex scenes with characters that you wouldn't expect. You would see a lot of LGBTQ um, intimate scenes. Um, it will make you question like what I think about this. Is this okay or not? What is my attitude towards this? Uh, but again, this is something that happens in the world um, amongst young people more than before. And definitely it is something that should be portrayed. Uh, it is showing also the other side, like what is it like when you're conservative and you are, um, you know, trying to figure out, should I do something like that? Should I be intimate before marriage or should I, you know, um, should I have like a one night stand? Um, even if, should I cheat someone? Um, so there are a lot of questions like that. In normal people, I was very surprised with their uh, intimate scenes because they were very true, very raw. A lot of us can relate. A lot of us had experiences like that and um, nothing is Photoshopped in a way. You see everything visually, it's very raw. And um, as somebody, like I said, who studied filmmaking, um, I always wonder like when I watch critically a TV show or a movie, I think, is this scene necessary? And in terms of this, of course, like, we always have to ask, is this nudity necessary? <laughs> Do we need to see everything that we saw? In normal people, there is nudity, but you never question, is it necessary? Because it's just the, you know, their physical affection coming true. So they're, you know, um, in, in different ways when they are breaking up or coming together, these scenes serve to intensify the emotion. If you want to watch it with your kids, I wouldn't recommend, depending on the age of your children. But definitely for adults, it's something that you will find refreshing. It's new. And depending on like what you like, you will decide to watch it more or less. But um, in, in for the purpose of the, the story, I think it is very, very well made. And um, it's relatable in a way. If you have some TV shows that... Uh, you would like to recommend to me please you can write it in the in the comments I always am curious and open for recommendations especially like I said if they come from different countries and I get to get to know the culture more and happy learning and see you in the next one bye